So thank you very much, everyone. As I mentioned before, I'm Mexican. I live in Lithuania. Work remotely for the Chinese people. You know, like it sounds like a like the beginning of a bad joke, but it's not because it's literally what is happening here. And thank you very much for joining on our presentation. And as, as now um, we mentioned, uh, we're going to present uh, our solution for smart uh, trailer and asset tracking. We want to focus a bit more on on this solution, because as we saw in the presentation uh, for the roadmap and the product, uh, the biggest share of the more than 3 million units uh, that are in wild and right now, it's taken by uh, the regular traditional vehicle tracking. And asset tracking, trailer tracking, personal tracking, and some other areas um, take a very small share. So we see, based on our company experience and that we're selling a lot of this type of products, that the wildland community still has a lot of room to enter other segments uh, than the traditional fleet management uh, part. So just very quickly, um, as an introduction of our company, if you're not familiar uh, with us or you have never uh, used our products, uh, we're a public traded company. Our, uh, our headquarters are in Shanghai. Um, our market cap around uh, 1 billion uh, US dollars right now. And we have deployed over 10 years, more than 40 million products from all, our, all of our lines. Uh, we have more than 3,800 customers in more than 140 countries. And we have, now it's closer to 500 uh, employees, and most of our, our colleagues are from the R&D uh, R part. Uh, we have three R&D centers in China and uh, local presence in, uh, in many regions. So, if you're based in Latin America or the US, maybe you're more familiar with our brand, but now we're coming closer to, to Europe, Middle East, and, and other parts of, of the world. About our cooperation with, with Gurtam and with Wyland, uh, there's more than 70 uh, products from, from QuickLink integrated into the Wyland platform, and more than 130,000 uh, devices right now connected to, to the software. And I mean, as, as we saw today, we're on the top three uh, manufacturers on, on wireland by connected units. So now we're, we're going uh, directly to the, to the first uh, use case. So about trailer tracking, uh, we have very particular um, conditions because, of course, when trailers are connected uh, to a vehicle, um, they have a constant power supply. But they are a hybrid asset where we cannot ensure that always uh, they will have it. So, of course, in most cases, when trailers reach a destination, uh, they are attached, left in yards, sometimes for weeks or even months. Um, while trucks might go to the road connected to a different trailer, and th these are two separate assets. Uh, the challenge on this scenario, of course, it's not only the trailer tracking itself, but the identification and the asset management when the trailers are left uh, in a yard or are not being used. Uh, so, as I mentioned, when trailers are, are moving, attached to the truck, we can use traditionally the GPS tracking from, from the vehicle. Uh, but when they are disconnected and they don't have power supply, the, the tracking or the interrupted location uh, will become a, a very big problem. So that's why we designed one particular product uh, fully for that segment, and that has been received very well in the market. And now it's one of our, our best sellers, and, and that's why we see a lot of uh, room to grow within the YLM community. So this is the product, this is the, the GV600 series. Uh, specifically, now we're focusing more on the GV600 uh, MG series, which, which is the global LTE uh, version. So this is a ruggedized uh, waterproof uh, device, IP67, uh, that is designed to work on very harsh conditions. Uh, and as I told, it's meant to work with the vehicle's power supply when it's connected. And then it has a large battery, 5,800 milliampere. Uh, to work autonomously when it's disconnected. So, of course, we have a, a very good mix between a, a regular uh, vehicle tracker and an asset tracker. Um, with the internal battery, we can provide up to 120 days of autonomy with one location per day. So this is configurable, of course. Uh, but this is an example of how long uh, it can work uh, autonomously just with the backup battery. And of course, with the, uh, it will work with the power supply uh, when it's on the road. Um, this device also is very particular in the way that it supports uh, a dual power source. So um, 
the harness is actually pretty big. It has 16 wires, and it has two separate lines of, of power source. So you can connect it to the power so source of the truck. Or for example, if we have a refrigerated trailer with carrier, Thermo King, or some other system, we can also connect uh, to the power supply of, of that system. So we can connect to one or the other, or the two at the same time. Plus, we have the backup battery uh, to make it work uh, autonomously. So just in general, some of the features, it also has uh, BLE to connect with wireless accessories. Uh, I mean, some like the, the ones we, we heard before, BLE beacons for, um, for identifications. We have integrated for some of our partners uh, BLE uh, locks. Uh, we have uh, BLE uh, door sensors, temperature sensors, uh, fuel sensors. So pretty much any BLE uh, accessory that you can think of, we can integrate with, with this device. And it has multiple um, interfaces to connect the to connect, uh, external accessories. And of course, all the uh, regular uh, applications from a vehicle tracker. We have two versions, mainly like uh, 3G with 2G fallback. And mainly now we'll focus from now on, in general, uh, on the LTE devices with the uh, 2G fallback. We chose also this, uh, this device because we have some uh, real wild and use cases, especially in the, in, in the US. So some partners in, in North America use uh, the GV600. Uh, you know, it sounds sometimes that we're repeating ourselves, but really, on the way that we designed it, because we saw that there's not in the market many dedicated trailer trackers. So it's just used for, for what it's designed for. Um, so yeah, mainly in North America, they use it for uh, trailers, flatbed trucks. And, and as I mentioned before, when the trailer is unattached from the vehicle, this is how this particular wildland partner uses it. Uh, the GV600 will detect that the trailer is not moving and that has no power. Um, so it will switch automatically to a cellular a deep sleep mode as one of our asset trackers. And it will report once or twice per day uh, just to, sa to save the battery. And the device will wake up uh, just to report uh, on the scheduled times uh, to send the location, or it can wake up also based on, uh, on motion. So we can configure that if, if for some, some reason it moves, it will switch automatically the mode, uh, especially if it's not supposed to be moving. Then when, when the trailer is attached to, to a vehicle, the device uh, will take the same, the ignition or the motion, uh, and, and it will uh, automatically uh, read again the information from accessories if we have them. For example, this partner uh, is using the, the device together with, uh, with temperature sensors because they, uh, they are used for cold chain. So automatically, it will switch modes to report live again, read the information from the external sensors, and report uh, to the well-on server. Approximately, we have 3,000 uh, GV600 series uh, devices in Wyoming right now. Uh, so yeah, I mean, on the revision, it's not, it's not a lot. We sell um, this device a lot in, in some of the customers. Um, so we're sure that the Wyoming community has some trailer tracker projects, has some good customers on this uh, particular vertical. So for sure, um, we, we encourage you to, to, to try it. Um, because the feedback is very good. So, um, so yeah, this is about the, the trailer tracking part. And it's also very related to the asset tracking, which is the, the second use case that we have. So here, we're, we're mentioning uh, safe, safeguarding high value assets during storage and, and transport. So for this particular case, this is from one of our partners. Um, they have a customer who is a semiconductor manufacturing company, and they needed to manage uh, high-value uh, machines during storage and transport uh, because they move those uh, very expensive machines uh, to different locations ac across, the, uh, across the world. So the machines are sensitive to the heat and the moisture, so of course working on certain conditions can uh, make the, the equipment fail. And of course this this caused not only disruptions on their manufacturing process and delivery of, of, of products, uh, but it can represent very expensive repairs or uh, really having problems on the machines can cost millions of dollars to them. So the risk was even higher when they transport the, the, the machines from location to, to location, uh, and they needed to, to track not only uh, where the, the machines are, but also the 
environmental conditions and exposure to the elements during transport. The, the, the solution that we offered for this particular case, um, it's either the GL500MG or, or our GL501MG, uh, those are battery powered uh, acid trackers, uh, plus our BLE WTH300 temperature and humidity sensor. So this bundle, it's, um, it, it's placed on every crate where, where the machines are, uh, are located. And then the BLE sensor uh, will monitor humidity and temperature around the asset, transmit it via BLE uh, to the asset tracker. And then if, if certain thresholds that are uh, predefined on the configuration uh, are reached, the tracker would report immediately. In general, this, this type of devices are meant to, to work on a deep sleep mode uh, report a few times per day, and on certain conditions, wake up and report uh, on live tracking. Um, the GL500MG in particular, um, on power saving, month, uh, saving mode, it can provide up to five years uh, of autonomy. The GL501 is a rechargeable device that in, in similar conditions can, can provide one year uh, of, of autonomy. So the difference is mainly one is rechargeable, the other one is not rechargeable. So the solution uh, involves uh, having immediate alerts uh, set for water leaks, for moisture, for theft in transport uh, and storage. And if, yeah, because of these devices are uh, self-powered uh, by the internal batteries, the, the same solution is used to optimize logistics uh, between uh, the facilities around the globe where they move the machines. And, and of course, like we also offer the regular uh, tracking solutions uh, that we offer in in it, like for, for the vehicle. So advanced monitoring uh, capabilities include motion, uh, crash, and tamper detection. These devices on, on their own, they also have light and temperature uh, built-in sensors. But of course, for more specific and, and precise uh, temperature and humidity monitoring, we add the BLE ones. The built-in sensor can measure ambient uh, temperature uh, monitoring, but it's not as precise as having external ones. So uh, th those are the, the two use cases we, want to, we wanted to, to quickly share uh, with you. We didn't focus so much on, on the vehicle trackers because th this type of products we see are, are, are more special, can bring more value, and they're different to, uh, to what most are using. Um, but of course, as you see, we focus now a lot on the LTE products, um, and this is the way uh, we're going now. So yeah, if anyone has some questions, please feel free. Thank you very much. <laughs>